So, I will start by loading the Focus Web UI. And my prompt will be a girl wearing a red t-shirt, standing alone on a road, with a half body shot from the front. Then, I will hit Generate. Now that we have our subject, a pretty girl, I will next click on the Input Image checkbox and select the In Paint Out Paint tab to get the generated image. I will start selecting with the Select tool. Let's try changing her clothes by selecting the method to modify the content, and the modification will be a white shirt. Make sure to remove the old prompt, otherwise, it will mess with the results. Then, I will hit Generate. There it is, our subject in a nice white shirt. Perfect! Let's change to an orange and white striped t-shirt. I'll hit Generate and wait for the results. Awesome! You can see the power of the InPaint tool in the Focus Web UI. Doing this in Photoshop would take quite an effort. Let's try again. How about an orange crop top? Generate. Oh, this isn't as expected. Let's try again. I made a mistake. I missed the letter R in crop top. Let's try again with the correct spelling. Well, nothing was wrong with the AI. The crop became a cop. So, you get the point, right? About selecting with the InPaint tool and explaining to the AI what we want. The selection should be done correctly. If you select something like this and ask for swimwear, Well, then it will turn out to be a funny one. The AI is smart, but we must do the selection properly so the AI can get a complete idea of where and what it should be working on. Perfect! Let's continue with some more changes, such as adding accessories. How about sunglasses? We can do it simply by selecting the area and hitting Generate. And the image is generated with the sunglasses. Look at the perfect blending of the glass near the ears and hair. Let's try again. You can also specify the sunglasses details if you want a specific type of sunglasses. I will try adding earrings. I will undo this and select earrings. And here, we have the image with a girl wearing earrings. Let's try changing her face and then adding accessories to it. I will go to the image prompt and select an image from yesterday's video. Next, I will have to click Advanced tab and check the Developer Debug mode. In the Control tab, I will select Mixing Image Prompt and In Paint. This will combine the image from the image prompt with the image selected in the In Paint tool. I will go to the Advanced section of the image prompt. So I can inform the AI that he is supposed to pick up details from the face of the given image. And also, I will select the area where the AI is supposed to generate an output, based on the image it picked from the image prompt. And there is the result, which is amazing. Now, let's give her the sunglasses. Selection done, let's generate. Great. What else? Should we give her a hairstyle as well? I will add hair bun and close the advanced section, then generate. She is looking so good. 
And you know how to use in paint. It's just selecting and manipulating it. Now, how about sending the subject to a different place? Like changing the background? Let's select the background and change it. Or maybe we should do the opposite. Especially in cases where selecting the background becomes complicated. Let me show you what I'm talking about. First, I will select the subject properly. Then go to Advance. Uncheck the Mixing option and click in Paint tab. Head to the option that says Invert Mask. By checking this option, the AI will target the area that is not selected by us in the image. Yes, the unselected areas. The background will be a beach, and I'll hit Generate. Great, the girl is now at the beach. Try by yourself, let me know if videos like this are helpful by liking and commenting your thoughts. Stay connected by subscribing to the channel, I am working on many things related to AI.